What's up guys, it's Christina and I'm gonna be taking you on my nighttime skincare routine, uh, how I get ready for bed and what products I use. So let's get started. Okay, so I currently do have makeup on. Um, it's just extremely melted right now because it's like 11 o'clock at night, but Whenever I take my makeup off, I typically start with micellar cleanser water. I find this best for my skin. I think that this definitely um, keeps my skin from drying out and keeps it hydrated. Um, so I just put a little bit on a cotton pad and I just wipe away all my makeup. I know you're not supposed to, but I use um face wipes like makeup wipes for my mascara just because i don't know why but this stuff like burns 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 my eyes um so if i could minimize makeup wipes to just my eyes then i feel like at least it's somewhat beneficial um rather than using makeup wipes for my whole face because I know you're not supposed to, but. So this one cotton pad typically takes about two um, just because I'm really picky about getting all the grime and dirt off my face uh, at the end of the day. Um, I've always been super into skincare. Um, I think it's, you know, the, your face is the first thing people look at. So I think it's super important um, to be involved in that, you know, and if you're not and you're still learning or curious to learn about it, trust me, I was in that boat too. Um, Google, 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 Google. That was like my best friend. Um, I learned a lot, a lot, a lot of skincare tips <coughs> and tricks from Google and just from like other YouTube videos. Um, and I think that definitely helped me learn a lot so to take my mascara off as you can see i have some um i'm going to go in with a makeup wipe um i literally just use the up and up brand nothing crazy nothing special um but for this i just hold it over my eye for probably i don't know kind of slowly go back and forth and this is kind of relaxing at the same time um 15 seconds and then I slowly just kind of wipe it downward um <laughs> I look crazy uh downward instead of like a like a harsh motion just because I do want to make sure that I am soft on the eye because it is extremely extremely delicate part of your face um <laughs> and I'm not trying to get wrinkles <laughs> but I'll do that for each eye kind of wipe down wipe down and get under um, and then just make sure that it's all off um, okay so now that it's pretty much all off then I will go ahead and I will go in with face cleanser okay so I'm waiting for my water to <laughs> heat up um, but the face cleanser I use so I use a different face cleanser at night than I do in the morning just because at nighttime I feel like I have more dirt and just grime and stuff on my face. So I like to use more of a dirt removing uh, face cleanser rather than the morning. I use more of like a soft one. Uh, for the nighttime I use the Biore. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong because I've always said Biore and I don't know if it's correct. But I use a charcoal cleanser face wash just because um, I think it's really good for getting off your makeup. Especially days I wear makeup um, and all the dirt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a towel and always pat dry. So I'll kind of just gently go over my skin, but I will, if you see, I will still keep it moist. This is actually a trick that I learned from Hailey Bieber. So thank you for that. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but if you do, thank you because it has done wonders. And the reason for this is because when I put on my product after I wash my face, um, keeping your face moist really helps soak up the product. Um, it just absorbs it nicely, nicely, <laughs> nicely. I'm gonna go in with the toner. Um, 
So I use the Lancome, same thing. But let me know if I'm saying this wrong. Um, and I will go ahead and link these all down in the description so you guys know exactly what product I'm using. I'll just put a little bit on a cotton pad. Teensy, teensy bit. Like that. And then just wipe over my face. Honestly, I think skincare is just so relaxing to me. I think that it just makes me feel so like refreshed. Um, and brand new, always just a little bit like that over the face. Okay, look at that, clean. <laughs> so then after while my face is still damp, I will go ahead and go in with serums. So I always start from the lightest to heaviest. They always say that nighttime is the best time to put on like pack um, or to layer your serums just because at nighttime is when it absorbs the most and you're not doing the much out of the day. Um, especially products that aren't good to be exposed to the sun. I think it's extremely helpful to put them on at night. So that way you're not damaging your skin in any way because some products that are not meant for the sun, if they are mixed with that, that'll do more damage to your face than good. So the first one I start off with Glossier is the best. This is not sponsored in any, any way, but that's just the product that I use. So I use the Glossier Super Pure. It is niacinamide and zinc serum. You know, I'm pretty sure I pronounced a lot of these incorrect, but I will typically just put some on my hand And I like to rub it in my fingers, in my hands, and then put it over my face. I find this a lot more, a lot easier to um, glide over my face and to press into my skin. I just find it better and I feel like it gets to more places than putting it directly on your skin. And then after that, I will go in with also Glossier. It is the Super Glow Vitamin C Magnesium Serum. And then, I, this one I sh I'm, I'm almost out, so I shake this one. And then same thing, I put a couple drops in my hand. And rub, 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 and it's just so relaxing. I think once you get into skincare, it's just, it's kind of like a treat to put it on your skin, just because it makes your skin feel so plump and alive and dewy and glowy and then the last serum i go in with is also glossier and it is the hyaluronic acid with the vitamin b5 serum i just got this actually um i was out <laughs> and this is like my holy grail same thing i'll just put like five drops to my fingertips my hand palm whatever it's called rub together and rub and then i always press and at the end just to make sure because you don't want to like whenever you're rubbing in you always want to go up so that way your face isn't dripping down it'll go up and so you want to get in those movements like that and then i just press because i feel like it will help not touch my skin Okay, so next I will go in with, <sighs> typically if I'm breaking out, like right now I am, I have some uh, spots right there and right here. Um, I will go in with a toner before I put on my moisturizer. So this one is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner. Um, so this one I typically just open, um, I just put on little q-tip and then just dab the areas that my skin needs it all right okay oh i look so tired i'm very tired okay and then almost done <laughs> 
I will go in with my um, nighttime moisturizer. My nighttime moisturizer and my daytime moisturizer are too different because my night one does not have SPF in it, whereas my daytime one is like a strict sunscreen moisturizer. Um, but this one is just the First Aid Beauty. It's all scratched up from my nails grabbing it. But this one I'll literally just put like half a pump into my fingertips. And I don't know why, but when I put on moisturizer, I, t I like to dab it onto my face first and then I rub. This is the only one I don't put like to like rub in my hand and then on. This is like one that I just put like a dime, probably smaller than a dime. No, about a dime. Drop into my hand and then rub on my skin. <sighs> I love face care. And then last but not least, but most important, eye cream. You always want to put your eye cream on last. Um, the reason for this is because when you're putting on your moisturizer, I don't know if you noticed, but I did not put any under here. Um, I kind of ignored that spot when I was putting on my moisturizer. And that is because you want that strictly just for your eye cream. This is an extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive spot on your skin. So putting anything that's not meant for the eyes, like I said earlier, can be more damaging than good. So I wait for my eye cream to put any type of moisturizer on my eyes. Um, this one is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream. So this one, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. Um, and for your eye cream, you just need a little bit. I usually go in with this finger. Um, I have nails, so I have to kind of go in <laughs> with my nail. But literally, that's how much I put, like, for both eyes. So I'll just kind of dab. Dab. And then when you're rubbing your eye cream in, pat. Always, always, always pat. And use this finger still because it's the most gentle out of all of our fingertips and it'll do the best job without stretching your skin so okay and um okay so i actually learned that she could be i don't i don't know this is just what she told me. Um, my esthetician had told me that you're not supposed to put eye cream actually on the top of your eyes um, because when you put your eye cream down here, it naturally rises. I don't know how, don't call me on that because I, not the one that said that, I'm not an esthetician, I'm just saying what she told me. Um, so I usually just go in and it's supposed to go into your eyelids. I don't know. I haven't had a problem with my eyelids being dry or anything like that, so I've continued to do it like this. Um, but, you know, whatever works for you. But that is pretty much it. And then I'll just go in with some chapstick. I cannot, cannot go to bed with my lips dry. That's like a no, a no, a no. And then, usually I forget, but tonight I didn't because... I had mascara on, so I like to put this on, especially when I'm wearing mascara. Um, it's the Grande Lash Serum, and this helps with lash growth. I've seen a tremendous difference in my lashes, for sure, for sure. So I will just swipe this on my eyelid. Oh my god, I put way too much, it's gonna burn. Oh my god. So literally just one swipe. As I put two. <laughs> it's okay. It's because the first one didn't have a lot on it. All right, and then that's pretty much it. And this is my done look. Um, obviously, my skin's not perfect, um, but it does feel and look a lot cleaner. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time.